welcome to the official Worship Drums Drum Tour. This is my kit, so I wanted to show you around it, give you some uh, specs on what you're looking at, and give you some information. So we'll start with the kick drum. It's a 22 by 18 kick drum. So really big and bulky. I've got these big two-inch um, hoops on there. This is a 10-ply, and it's uh, a combination of African mahogany and bubinga. And so going through the toms, I've got a 10 by eight here, a little small guy, 12 by eight. And the four toms are 14 by 14 and a 16 by 16. So those are the, the toms there. I know the toms are six ply each. So six plies of African mahogany and bubinga, six ply the same. And then the low toms are 10 ply. So as you get thicker, as far as the, the bigger the drums, I want the more plies on there. Uh, the snare drum's really cool. I really like the snare drum. I'm gonna come around here. This snare drum is, is cool for two reasons. Uh, the, the first reason that it's free floating. So none of the hardware actually touches the drum itself. So what it does is these lugs up here connect to the bottom by this metal piece here. So nothing is even touching the drum. And for that, that's more of like a virgin wood type deal where the wood's been untouched. So there's nothing bolted into it and nothing that can really affect the sound. Uh, the second thing is, this is a 20 ply snare drum. So 20 plies, this thing is heavy. It's a monster. And so inside there's 20 individual plies of wood. And I've got some maple tucked into this as well to give it some more volume. So that's the wood makeup and the plies. Um, I've got all pearl hardware. So I've got the Eliminator hi-hat pedal here. Um, all, all new stuff. I've got the Eliminator Demon drive here. So it's a direct drive system. No chains, no messy, um, you know, tar looking stuff, grease, anything like that. Um, all the stands and everything else is pearl as well. For symbols. I'm a Sabian guy, I love Sabian. I've got the HHX line. So starting here, I've got the 14 inch HHX stage hats. Uh, for crash cymbals, I've got the HHX 18 inch stage crash, which is a really one of my favorite crash cymbals of all time, love it. Uh, over here, I've got the 19 inch extreme crash. So this has a lot more bite and attack than this one here, uh, but still they complement each other really well. Uh, then over here, I've got the uh, 21 inch groove ride. Really nice sound, sounding uh, ride cymbal. Got a nice, nice bell on it as well. And then for the more dry, trashier sound, I've got the HHX Omni 22 inch, which I don't really use as a ride, more of a crash. So um, everything is, is mic'd up individually and right over to my mixer just for recording purposes. So you can see here, on the toms, I've got some Beta 98As, and this is the actual microphone here. Really small capsule, very tiny. Um, really good because some people hit microphones, <coughs> myself. So I like to keep this one here because I don't really hit it because it's so small. So I've got four of those on all the toms, or one on each tom. Uh, the snare's got the basic Beta, or excuse me, the basic SM57, just the regular what you'd find on any kit. Uh, this is a blue microphone for the hi-hats. Really nice sounding, pretty neutral, so I like it. And then I've got a Beta 52 inside of the kick drum as well. Uh, you'll see my pillow in there and the microphone is tucked to the side there. So all that is cabled up and ran down through here and over to my mixer. And this is a 1602. It gets the job done, it sounds good, I don't have any complaints about it. Uh, but I run all my, my drum channels into here, and then I uh, route everything out through this wonderful cable here, which is a FireWire cable, and it goes directly into the computer and into Pro Tools, voila, I'm done. Um, this right here is actually, um, I'll take this and pull you over here. This is a road case for my live setup. It's not done yet, but you can see it's got my power, or monster power. It's got my interface so I can run up to eight outputs at one time in a live setting. So if I've got drums on one channel, piano on another channel, um, I can run all those out independently to the front of house. 
down here, which I've got to buy one more of these, are my Art S8. So these are splitters. So on the front side, I plug in all my channels, and on the back side, I send one to the house, and I send one to my in-ear system. Some churches don't have in-ear systems, and if I use a quick track and anything else, I can't use my rig. So I'm creating my own in-ear system this way. I can roll this into a church and be done completely.